Welcome! For this demo, around 100 HDR images of a stained glass were acquired over a period of 6 hours at the Cathedral of Lausanne. They were used to build a physical model of the glass microstructure to allow for interactive relighting. Visual effects, such as blooming and streaking, are added for a more vivid viewing experience. The user interface is decomposed into two main blocks, the stained glass image in the middle and a control panel on the right. Three modes are available. First mode is without post-processing, which means that only the physical model of the glass microstructure is used. Second mode is with post-processing, where visual effects like blooming and streakings are added. Finally, a day at the cathedral shows you in less than a minute how the sun illuminates the stained glass throughout a day. Various sliders allow you to interact and play with the image. For instance, the light direction, the viewing position, the light intensity, the roughness of the glass surface, and a zoom in, zoom out feature. First, let's look at the case without post-processing. Here, I am changing the light direction behind the stained glass. And now, I am changing the light intensity. See how it affects the stained glass. Changing the viewing position is similar to modifying the relative position of the sun behind the stained glass. I am now increasing the light intensity and the surface roughness, which results in a more focused spot as less scattered light is able to exit the stained glass. In the post-processing mode, blooming effects are clearly visible in the way light extends from the border of the individual stained glass pieces. As the light direction and position change, streaking can be clearly observed by the beams of light that exit the stained glasses. The last mode simply demonstrates how this stained glass is lit throughout the day. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.